So what we have here is a brilliant robotic head called Pico from a company called Obot. I was one of the backers on a Kickstarter campaign about three years ago and already made a few videos out of it. So please do check out the link from the description below. So recently I reached out to Obot to see whether they have managed to integrate Pico with ChatGPT and not a surprise people they have already done it so they are ahead of the curve at the moment. So what you need to do is you go to Microsoft store and search for an app called Obot 2 and then you download it and then you go to openai.com and obtain your own personalized API key and then you type that into uh, Obot 2 app and you're all good to go. That simple people. And the beauty about uh, owning a Pico is that you can personalize this mouth movement, the expressions and the color of it and the way you type it and so on. So you truly feel like you own a robot of your own that you can customize it whatever you want with a simple block programming or text programming. So enough said, let's get into the beauty of Pico, shall we? So here it goes. So this is the main page of uh, the app called Obot version 2.0, which you can customize Pico. Uh, so we're on the tab called GPT-3 starter code snippet. This was the already given um, block programming that I received from Obot. So um, it's very logical people. You basically can look at the process of what is going to do. So when you press the space, Basically, it will set the eye brightness to one. I deliberately changed the eye brightness to one so the camera could detect the brightness of the eye. And the rest is uh, pretty simple. So it will give a head nod um, once you press the space and then it will ask uh, or it will say type of question to me. And then the question bar will appear here, which I'll show you early, uh, later on. And then you will type something and then it will answer by using the knowledge of GPT-3 0.5 turbo or you can actually say the command word of listen and then that will trigger uh, Pico as well. So basically that's the command listen. Now what I've done on the right hand side is merely just put in the control function of forever so it loops around so you don't need to press um, every single time space or say listen to be able to communicate with Pico by using the knowledge of GPT-3. So I hope that's self-explanatory. It's very easy, by the way. So let's start with the space, shall we? So um, here it goes. Type a question to me. Okay, so you've been given a box here. So I would say, how are you? As an AI language model, I do not have feelings or emotions. However, I am functioning properly and ready to assist you with any task you need help with. How may I be of assistance? So once it's actually finished, it, go, it bows its head and it's letting you know that it's all finished. But if you were type A... Type a question to me. Okay, so every single time when I say, okay, so what is one minus zero? Question mark. One to zero equals one. Okay. Type a question to me. So you can see that because I put in the forever loop on it, you can constantly ask question. Okay, so let's stop that by pressing this red button. So let's try out the uh, voice command, shall we? So the trigger word is listen, and basically Pico will listen to what you say, and then you can see here that it will um, respond saying that speak to me, and then if you uh, tell him uh, something, he will respond with the knowledge of ChatGPT. Now, just so you know, this is for the demo purpose, and I just couldn't figure out how um, Pico could listen long enough to respond to you with the knowledge of ChatGPT, but I'm sure it is possible, but I'm not a programmer, so please do advise me for my viewers out there if you know how to mingle with this bit, but it will pretty much give me the same answer based on what is actually written in here for some reason. So let's try it out, shall we? So listen. Speak to me. How are you? I cannot believe what has happened. 
Yesterday was one of the most terrifying and exhilarating days of my life. <laughs> I never imagined that I would be able to save so many lives, but I did it. I am still in shock at the sight of the four Fashia shipwrecked on the rocks, nice. but I am proud that I was able to help. Okay. My father and I were just doing our job, keeping the lighthouse running, when we saw the ship in distress. We knew we had to act quickly, even though it was a dangerous situation. I rode out to the ship with my father, and we managed to rescue nine people. I can still hear the cries of the survivors, and I am glad that we were there. So there you go. So when uh, Pico has finished saying it, it will bow down um, and a bit of uh, electrical sound to let you know it's all finished. Okay. So here's my uh, very simple customization. Basically, I don't need to say every single time the trigger word to be able to interact with uh, Pico. All I need to do is just say it once and um, I got this loop here forever. So it will constantly listen to you and respond with the knowledge of ChatGPT. So the trigger word will be start. Speak to me. How are you? I am Grace Darling and yesterday was one of the most so as you can see of my life. it will loop around every single time so that's how it works okay so here we have it folks not only can you customize the expression of pico i.e the movement of his eyes and also movement of his mouth and expression of his color you also have the super duper knowledge of chat gpt integrated onto pico so the idea is you can plug in Pico uh, by the USB cable constantly to your PC. And then while you're in the middle of the work, you can actually go to the app of Obot version 2.0 to type in your question, or you could verbally command Pico to dialogue with him constantly and so on. So this is a really cool idea. And look at him, he's so cute, isn't he? It's tiny robot head, so it actually feels like Pico is staring at you and if you're a bit annoyed or if you want to share some happy moment, you can talk to Pico with a simple command such as listen or start or any other customizable word that is available on the uh, Obot version 2.0 app. So I hope this video explained to you how cool Pico is, but if you have any queries, please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.